All right, well, we are going to go to Goodwill today, but change of plans. We have decided to venture out and try other things. We just, you know, when there's people there that have been camped there all day at Goodwill, we kind of figured there's not a whole lot to be found on the shelves. So we are here. Where is here? Here is, it's definitely not a hemp outlet as it says on the side of the building. I think this is called the junction. That's what I put into my GPS. Um, and we are here, it says moving sale, 50% off everything. They're moving. So I'm gonna go ask permission to film. If you're seeing this video, I was granted permission. Um, but we're gonna see what we can find and we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. As soon as we walked in the door, this little shop showed a whole lot of promise. Dagny actually noticed this vase first, but she passed on it. It was $34. It is Fenton. It's worth probably $65 to $75. That's me confirming that she doesn't want it, and she didn't. So I said, all right, well, if you're not going to take it, I will take it. <laughs> so I have not tested it yet under black light, but it more than likely does glow, and it was just beautiful. So I ventured further into this little shop here and you can see there is so much variety. Over here I noticed this wooden duck which is very mid-century modern in style. You can see there is a mark on the bottom. I couldn't really read it but I liked it stylistically and I couldn't find a price on it but that was okay. Everything was priced reasonably, so I wasn't too worried about it. This was an $8 enamel tray. A lot of the stuff was half off. Some items were not. Uh, it just depended on the code because some of the pieces were consignment. You can see there's some Satsuma there in the window. I tend to steer clear of Satsuma unless it is very old got some EAPG with a nice little bird perched on top. These lamps were great. They were $40, no $25 for the pair and they were fantastic but I really don't need any more lamps. I need to get rid of some of the lamps I have. I always say that and then I pick up some lamps but, <laughs> but I did pass on those lamps. This Satsuma for $15 did catch my eye because it had a dragon on it. Unfortunately, there was a little damage, but it was a really neat piece. And the dragon was super cool. Here in the back, you can see there's a lot more stuff and it's a little bit overwhelming. I kind of get this like information overload when I'm trying to process all of these pretty things. There's some enamel vases there and what appears to be some Ellie Smith on the shelf. I kind of zeroed in on this carnival glass vase in the back. I was a little confused by the base color. It was $6. The base color was a little green and it was a little blue at the same time. So I found it interesting. But it was $6 and I wasn't sure if that piece was half off. I was just treating everything as if it was full price. Dagny found all of these little families of critters. <laughs> she found a little squirrel family and a little skunk family. And then she found a little fox family and she was very happy with all of these little families and you can probably find them in her eBay shop, which is linked down in the description under shop with our friends. She will be listing them there if she has not already. There was a little nook off to the right and they had some hand painted vases and other pieces. There was one piece that caught my eye and it was this little shell trinket dish here. I'm not really sure what purpose it served. It was $1.50. I'm assuming it was just a trinket dish, but I liked it. I thought maybe it would serve a purpose in a beach house or something similar. And I decided that I would buy it. didn't even notice those cute little noses there. I should have grabbed those for Ashton and Juliet. We have some fossils here. These were kind of reminiscent of my 
time spent at my grandparents. They have a field out back, and these these fossils are just everywhere. We used to go pick them up when we were kids, so I had to at least check them out. Now, these little spice jars I thought were adorable, and I did turn them over, and they are BBP. I've never seen these BBP spice jars before, so I thought those were interesting, and now I know that BBP makes spice jars. We've got a Seth Thomas clock, and I sold one of those in my early days of thrifting, garage sailing, and I nowadays steer clear of clocks. The sailor reminded me of a Stife doll that I sold once. And he was only $5. I'm not sure if he's Stife. I'm not sure who makes him, but he's a reminiscent of Captain Ahab. And I thought that he was interesting. So I decided to take him with me for $5 and figure him out a little bit later. This fella down here on the shelf looked very displeased and I just loved the expression on his face. So I did turn him over just to get a sense of how old he was. And um, I didn't see a price on him, but I did think that he was adorable. And Dagny shared in the amusement of his expression before I set him back down and continued. There was a basket here that was full of electronics, and I will be the first to admit that electronics are my weakness, um, meaning that I don't know them very well. And I'm not very good at them. So this Atari, I do know that Ataris can be worth money. However, I was just not very confident in paying $100 for this. Um, and so I did look it over. It was $100 and I walked away from it. So hope, hopefully all of you who know electronics aren't screaming at me in the comments that you should have bought that. Um, I just was not very confident in it because it is not my strong point. There were some dolls here, and I looked them over. There was one doll that really interests me, and I did look at her back to see what her markings were. It was a little hard to do it one-handed, but I did turn off the camera to get a better, a better sense of what the back said underneath her dress there, and I ended up leaving her. There were a few wall pockets that I must have missed my first time through, and I turned these over. They were marked Made in China on the bottom, and so that kind of scared me away a little bit. They looked vintage, but then the Made in China mark made me think that maybe they weren't as old as I thought they were. I knocked my head on that chandelier for probably about the third time <laughs> since entering this shop. Andrea would have liked to look through those train that train set, but... Um, I'm not very good with those either. There were some really interesting stuff, and there was a nice mix. There was, like, the ladies' stuff, and then there was stuff that I knew Andrew could have appreciated if he had been there. And then there was a blue mannequin. So this was my second pass through the store. I like to go through a few times just to get a sense of what all is there because I know that I miss stuff. I'm, you know, the first time I'm just overwhelmed. The second time I get a better sense of what is there. I looked through the jewelry just to see if I could find anything. I liked this piece. It was obviously aged and it was probably gold, gold filled or gold plated. Dagny found a figurine that looked as though it could be Artisania Rinconata, but we don't believe it was. This looked Victorian. But I passed on that, and I found this instead. This was pottery, and I liked the glazing on it. Unfortunately, you can see that there was some damage to the tail. But all of the stones were intact, and so I ended up buying this anyway, regardless of the damage to the tail. There was a faux scrimshaw pin And I also like the frog, but we have a lot of frog jewelry sitting right now in our safe. And so I decided that I really didn't need any more frog jewelry at the moment.
Dagny found this adorable little cat ring, and I wasn't sure if it was sterling or not. I didn't actually take a close look at it, but regardless, it was a very adorable little cat ring that would just hug your finger. And she did end up purchasing that, so that, in addition to the little critters at the beginning, you could find it in her eBay shop. There was some art glass, and I took a look at the bottom to see if there was any etching or any indication of who made it, but I didn't see anything on the bottom, and so I passed on this. And then I grabbed these little dishes. They were china porcelain. They were T&V, which is, is Tressman and Vote. It's Limoges. And I really liked these. I thought they were cute. This decanter set, I noticed when we walked in and I kind of walked by it and eventually I circled back around. It was $25 for the entire set and it had the original stopper. A lot of the times the stoppers get lost and it had all the glasses and so I couldn't leave it behind. I had to take it with me and I felt like it would have had a, a decent resale value. And so um, it's a very mid-century modern. It would blend well with mid-century modern decor. I was checking to see if it was half off and it was excluded from the half off. So even at 25, that's a great deal. Now I've discovered the teacups and you guys know that I usually avoid teacups. I usually leave teacups and teapots to Andrew. He's got an eye for them. However, I did look at the mark on the bottom and I believe the cross swords are mycin. And so that mark intrigued me and I thought, you know what, $8 on these teacups. I think that I could do $8. And I also believe that these were half off. I think they were. And so whether or not they were full price or half off, I felt like that was a good deal. I loved the bright gold on them and I thought that they were just beautiful. So I ended up buying three sets of the teacups because they were all marked the same with the crossed swords. This one had a more floral pattern as opposed to the shells. And again, this one was also floral. This one was a different marking on the bottom. And so I left that one behind. But that one, definitely. I, I grabbed all the teacups. And hopefully I did all right. Now Dagny found this, and I had also seen this, and from the top view, I thought that this was a blue luster. I thought it was China. She turned it over, and she saw that it was actually Murano. And I would have never guessed that in a million years. So she found this beautiful leaf-shaped dish. It is marked Murano. And there is another marking on it that I'm not familiar with, but it was just absolutely stunning. So she found it, and it is beautiful, and you can find it in her eBay shop. And just like that. <laughs> Magic we are at a new location. This is actually where they are moving to. This is where they are going to have their new location. Um, it is called Awesome Stuff. Awesome Stuff. There you go. And we are in Jennersville. So let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. Us on Facebook. 896 Junction Consignment. So you can see that they are still getting organized here at their new location, but they still have a lot of nice things on display. I noticed this pottery vase, and I have seen pieces similar to this in the past, and so I did pick this up to see if there were any markings on the bottom. I did not recognize the signature, and so I set it back down. There was a nice mid-century style set there in the window and I liked that it was $25 and because the tray is so large I figured it would be costly to ship and I passed on that I felt like this was Fenton and so I picked it up to see if there were any markings on it it was six dollars when I got a closer look at the face I realized wait a second that is not Fenton <laughs> But there was some other art glass here. This bear was also very cute. I thought maybe this could be Princess House or something like that. This vase here did have a Made in Italy sticker and I loved the optic look to it. It had a crimped edge 
and the red was really vibrant so I did buy this before leaving the room I stopped to admire these miniature paintings I thought the shape were absolutely adorable they were very cute now in one of the other rooms I found this basket with the crimped edge. It was a pink opalescent with hobnail for $26. You guys know I am a sucker for glass. I looked it over to see if there was any damage and a lot of the times those little crimps will have damage and it tends to hide but I did not see any damage on this. There were some planters on the shelf, some swan planters, and of course I went for the blue duck because he was just odd, and I liked him. I liked the glaze, I loved the blue color, and the contrast with the green. There were some other planters there, including a Hager planter, and even though the glaze was nice, I passed on the Hager. Dagny found a nice little basket, and she liked that one but ended up passing on that. We went back out to the foyer there and they had some miniature vases and vessels. There was also jewelry and I wanted to take a closer look at some of the jewelry and little trinkets that they had in the front area. You can see some bracelets. I liked the scarab bracelet. I've always been drawn to the Egyptian revival pieces. That one I think was a little bit later than Egyptian revival. This room had some toys and a little baby doll. The baby doll was a little bit worn. For $7 though, it was well loved. We will say that the baby doll was well loved. This brass piece caught my eye just because it was ornate and I thought that she was pretty. It was a candlestick. I ended up putting it back. I don't really need any brass right now. Dagny found this Mother Mary statue. Now, personally, I am steering clear of anything having to do with Mother Mary recently after having a very bad experience with a buyer who purchased a Mother Mary statue from me. And it just kind of soured the whole experience of purchasing religious items. So I'm going to steer clear from those for a while. <laughs> But I did wander into this room where there was a lot of clothing. I don't typically buy and sell clothing, but I figured I'd check out what was here. There were some purses, and I gave those a look. A few vintage ones here, and fun frilly ones. Now I always tell you that I make a couple passes, and this is my second pass through this room just to make sure I haven't missed anything. And of course I did. I missed these adorable little critters. Now Dagny was able to look these up and find out that they were some sort of snack vessels. I would have never guessed that, but they appear to be birds, which I really liked. And they were so fragile. They're very fragile glass, which surprises me. I wouldn't give them to my kids filled with snacks, but they are very interesting and they are cute and shaped like birds. And there were two of them. Dagny found this art glass bowl, and even though I loved the contrast of the white and the green, I ended up passing on that and picking this up. It was a very nice, fine porcelain china. There was a mark on the bottom, but um, I think it was Wett Wittenberg. Wittenberg? I thought I liked the contrast of the green with the gold, and so I ended up picking this up. I suspect it's a relish tray because it's shorter than a bread dish. Even though I sat it back down, I did end up picking it up and taking it with me. But I, I found this as well, and what I liked about it was the colors. It was a green and a dark brown, and a lot of the times I find these, and they're like a taupe color. So it was the colors that really attracted me to this piece, and I ended up grabbing both of these. Well, Dagny helped me because she was my extra set of hands. I thought that maybe this could be Schumann Bavaria because they have a lot of these reticulated edges and so we moved these out of the way to turn it over and check and it was marked made in China on the bottom so that was a bust but um, that was it for this shop and I, I feel like we got some really great items and I was pleased with everything that we bought.
All right, well, our total spend here at this location was $68. And at the last location, I believe it was about $87. $87. So we found some really great stuff. I'm excited with everything we got. The prices were great, perfect for resale or for someone who is just looking for a great deal. We will definitely be back. Um, they will be fully moved into this location, as you said, by April 1st. So um, this is where it's at, right down the street from the most magical Goodwill in all the land. And that is where we are heading next. So I will see all of you tomorrow, probably at Goodwill. <laughs> Later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.